Good afternoon. Welcome to a weekend edition or Saturday edition of Messages from the Masculine. This is episode number 583. The topic today is forget resolutions, rock your 2019 instead. And this is going to be a marketing promotional piece as well as a teaching. So you've been warned. Before I jump into the topic at hand, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful, and high-achieving women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which is what inspired these talks in the first place. Um, A little bit over two years ago, I started these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today we're at episode number 583. I do these daily around 5 p.m. Pacific time, my usual time, so in case you're tracking and you want to watch me live, 5 p.m. Pacific time is usually the time you catch me right here on this channel, which is my personal page. And I wanted to recap a little bit from earlier because I talked about this on first and second, so Tuesday and Wednesday, about four ways, in fact, you can do things better than doing resolutions because this is the new year. Welcome to 2019 again. Happy New Year if you haven't heard me talk before this year. Um, And so I wanted to talk about setting yourself up for success in this new year. And part of it is just the way you come into the year. Because for many people, and I've mentioned this before, I noticed on, it was Wednesday or Thursday, it was Wednesday or Thursday, that I saw these people coming home from work. And it was almost like nothing had changed from the week before. So 2019 was like just a new calendar and and a mistake to be corrected on their checks when they write checks. I know you know that one. Rather than a whole new paradigm. So, For the new year, being a new year, have you taken any time to reset, to um, stop even, to say, okay, this is a new year, how would I like to enjoy it? How would I like to express during it? How would I like to be participating this year? Again, for some people, it's just continuation of the same old thing from last year, meaning that there was no change. Excuse me, the New Year's Day was just simply a day off not a new paradigm, not a new opportunity. And the reality is, it can be that way. I know for many years when I was in corporate, particularly, and in manufacturing, I was not looking at the new year as a brand new start, as a clean slate, as a place to design a new future, so to speak. I didn't know much then. (laughs) And maybe maybe you're in the same boat where you don't think about things beyond that, just sustaining yourself week to week to week to keep a paycheck coming in. However, if you've had a vision, a thought about doing something bigger, more amazing, or just having more fun this year, the new, year can, the new year's um, calendar change can be a way of choosing into it in a whole new way. See, the thing about the new year that's powerful is that it's a chance to declare a new beginning. You know, January this time of year is a lot of times, a lot of, it's kind of the winter months. And for a lot of people in the winter, it's a time of hibernation. It's also a great time in metaphysical terms, metaphorical terms, metaphysical terms, to plant some seeds. So that's one reason why a lot of people do resolutions this time of year, because they're thinking that plant resolutions, it's like planting seeds. So I just had a picture of an analogy. I'm gonna have to use it. It's, it's, (laughs) okay, I gotta do this one. There's difference between resol- the difference between resolutions and the intention, setting powerful intentions, and then creating the vision and the intention to really support that. Is the difference between having seeds planted in the ground that can grow, and buying plastic flowers to make it look good. And I mean this this way. For some people, just having resolutions is good enough. So it's window dressing. So plastic flowers in an arrangement looks perfect, lasts forever, has no depth, no value, no life to it. When you plant seeds and grow your own flowers, I'm reaching on this metaphor, but we'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. There is a distinct difference in the results you get. If you want plastic flowers, go ahead and do resolutions, metaphorically speaking. If you want something deeper, then listen to what I'm about to tell you. Because... I believe we can have what we want in life. That's why I do this work. I mean, one reason I coach is to help my clients have the relationship they never dreamed they could have before. Or maybe the, dream, maybe the relationship they've always dreamed of but never believed they could have. 
I don't do that for fun. I mean, I love doing it, but I do it because I serve and because I know it's possible. I do it because my clients deserve better than they've been choosing to this point, usually. A year ago, I, lo- I offered something back then, which is one doing right now, and this is a new version of that, a um, unfettered method to set up your year. I'm trying to say it in this way. It's not relationship-centric. <laughs> it's life-centric. So you can choose any area of your life you want, and using this tool that I'm going to tell you about, you can establish a new paradigm and start planting new seeds to create the reality you want this year, which can include relationship, but also can include career and include health and include finances and spiritual growth and social engagements and physical health, etc., etc., etc. I need a physical health twice. Maybe that's on my mind. But the thing about this tool, this, this offering, it's actually a playbook or a workbook, you can set up your life for success in every single area you want. And it's, I don't have a percentage to give you, but I would say it's a thousand times more effective than just doing resolutions. Resolutions to me are what I would say, again, the window dressing. They're nice to put them, put them out there, but they don't last more than a week or two. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's, a, it's unfortunate, but most resolutions don't last that well. In fact, a lot of people recycle last year's resolutions to this year. I talked about that before as well. So what I'm suggesting is if you are ready to do your life differently than you've done the last bunch of years, and if you decide that resolutions don't work anymore, welcome to the club. I'd like you to take a look at my um, 20, Rock Your 2019 playbook. That's what I'm calling it this year, because this is 2019. I have been editing, it's actually a new and revised version. I did it in 2018, but I realized there was more to do, so I've tweaked it and adjusted it and made it more powerful, so you can use it. And my belief is this will be a powerful tool that will help you get where you want to go because what it does is it lays the groundwork. The, this um, playbook, and I, I keep using the word playbook, and I'm thinking it's not sports, not a sports playbook, it's a, instead of being workbook, which is work, it's hard, I'm calling it a playbook because it's fun and you can play. That's why I'm calling it a playbook, by the way. So this Rock Your 2019 playbook is a powerful set of tools that you can use in any order, although they're recommended to do the order they're provided, and you can set up your vision, your intention for the new year, so you're no longer doing resolutions, which are these constrained, limited perspectives. You actually can create powerful intentions that are built upon truth. Yes, that big word, truth, with capital T, that are actually impl- set, to, set up for you to have success, and they are effortless in what you can do. It's a win-win-win, if you can believe that. <laughs> so I'm going to put the link in the comments for it. Basically, if you want to know it verbally, if you're not the chance, we can write it down. It's barryselby.com forward slash rock your 2019. That's rock your altogether 2019. And you just go there, check it out, and get started. It's, it's, I'm talking about it now because I, well, I finished it today and put it up today. So that's why it's very much on my mind. That's why my Facebook Live is about it today. I'm actually going to send this to my email list. And in fact, if you're re- watching this from my email list, you're wondering why I'm talking about them instead of you. So it's there for you. <laughs> Switching my heading gears here. So this is this is done as a as a reminder that 2019 can be an amazing year. It's a perfect time to start. I know that tonight is a new moon, and it was a partial eclipse, I believe, in some parts of the world. Um, a lunar eclipse, I think. Yes. Anyway, I know that my friend uh, Deborah Kagan will be doing a talk about that today. That's her area of skill, not mine. So I invite you to watch her broadcast. She does Facebook Live a little bit after mine. It usually it seems to be. So I'll be watching that as well. Hope you'll join me. I'll share it out when I go to see her, do her Facebook Live. And I invite you to check out my offering, my workbook, playbook, whatever you want to call it. It will help you get where you want to go. And I highly recommend you check it out if you want to set up your life, your, your, life, your goals, your, relation, your um, 2019 for success. So with that, I thank you for watching. Um, Keeping it simple today. It's a weekend broadcast. My, usually, my weekend broadcasts usually are pretty light. I want to keep this one succinct because I want to share this with you and also with my email list, which could be the same thing, by the way. Um, and that's it. I appreciate you being with me as always. I'll be back in tomorrow at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time, my usual talk time. I'm not sure what that'll be about. and We'll see. This is, this is a day-by-day experience. All 580-something broadcasts I've done. This is what I've been doing. Um, I did get nudged by a friend to maybe create a... Um, Facebook Live how-to book 
like a little uh, uh, an ebook, which I'm looking at doing as a possibility because having done 580 plus broadcasts, I've learned some things and I made lots of mistakes too, <laughs> just to be honest. So with that, um, <laughs> I guess I'm just talking randomly. Let me just finish this up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. I hope this has been a value to you. Again, I'll put the link in the comments. You can check it out. The um, replays for this, as usual, if you want to watch my replays of my other broadcasts, they go to my business page after this. This is my personal page on Facebook. So watching on YouTube, you'll see that later too. Personal page on Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. My business page where these get archived on Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. They also go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. All my social media is that. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in the playlist in there is messages from the masculine. Subscribe, view, scan, view. what do you want to do? Also, there's a podcast brewing, which I'm loading up with broadcasts from the video versions first that go into audio. And that on iTunes is messages from the masculine. You can subscribe to that channel as well. And download the audios and listen to them when you want and uh, take them to heart. These are here to support you and my message is my intention and my heart is here to serve you. So thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me as always. I'll see you again tomorrow at the same time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, same channel right here. And uh, have a pleasant evening. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.